Let's have a go at recording the Adams Family theme tune in GarageBand. So let's tap to open GarageBand and tap the plus sign in the top right hand corner to open a new project. If you're not seeing the keyboard view, then scroll along until you get keyboard and tap Smart Piano. And then we don't want the chord view at the moment, we want the piano keyboard view. So in the middle of the right hand side, tap the red button and that will give you the piano keyboard view. Now we need to set our keyboard up in the right place to give us all the notes for the Adams Family tune. So to do that, if you look just above the keys in the very middle, there's a button that says glissando. You're going to scroll to the right on that button and it changes from glissando to scroll. Now, at the bottom of your keyboard, in the left hand, there's C2. So keep following up C2, D, E, F, and then you get to G. So now press and hold that G and drag it down until it's the last key on the left. And when your keyboard looks like that, you go back to that central button and scroll back to glissando again. And that way your keys aren't going to move again when you're trying to record. Okay, so next we're going to set the tempo. So tap the settings cog in the top right. And we're going to make the tempo really slow for recording to make it easier for us to play in the tune. And once we've completed the project, we can speed it back up again. So tap on the tempo 110 and scroll that down to 70. Okay. And lastly, we need to set the length of our first section. So we're going to tap the plus sign at the top right at the end of the ruler gauge that shows you your section length. And we're going to select section A, we're going to make that into nine bars. Okay, so now we're ready. We're going to learn the first bit of the tune. I'll just play it for you first so that you get the tune in your head and I'm going to press play so that I hear my metronome beat along with me. So, starting with your thumb on C3, your thumb is finger number one, you're going to do C, D, E, F with one, two, three, four. So that's your thumb, then your index finger on D, middle finger on E and ring finger on F. Click, click. And you don't have to do the clicks, but just think the click to help you get the melody in time. Okay, so practice that a few times. C, D, E, F. Once you've got the hang of that, you're going to move your fingers up one note. So your thumb is going to be on the D. So one on the D, two on the E. And this time we need to use the black key that says F sharp. So we're not using the white F. We're using the black F sharp and then the G. So it goes D, E, F sharp, G. Okay, so in time with the clicks, it would go click, 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 click. So again, practice that. It's on the melody sheet, which you could either have printed out or on the board to help you. Then you're going to join those two sections together. So the C phrase and then the D phrase sounds like this. C, D, E, F, 
click, click, D, E, F sharp, G, click, click. So once you're confident doing that, take a look at the melody sheet and you repeat the D phrase twice more before finishing with the C phrase. So it goes D, E, F, G, D, E, F, G, C, D, E, F, click, click. Okay, so I'll show you the whole thing. C phrase, then the D phrase three times before you finish with the C phrase again. C, D, E, F, click, click, D, E, F, sharp, G, click, click, D, E, F, sharp, G, D, E, F, sharp, G, C, D, E, F, click, click. So you need to practice that until you're super confident and then we can try recording in the next step.